We all want our homes to be greener, environmentally cleaner, and more energy efficient, right? But what if our homes could actually produce more energy than they consume? Diana Olick explains in her continuing series on climate startups. Diana, what'd you learn? Well, Courtney, real estate, as you know, is a massive carbon offender. Both the construction and operation of the built environment account for 40% of global greenhouse gas emissions. So how do we reduce that? Well, one startup says, start at home. From solar panels to energy efficient appliances, Americans are trying to green their homes. But to truly do that, you need to start with its construction. That's what home builders like Dwell, Clever, and a California based startup called Arrow Homes are doing. Arrow CEO claims its homes will actually ultimately be carbon negative. The excess renewable energy that we generate after 16 years, that offsets all the carbon that was used to build the home. Gish points to four critical elements. First, Arrow claims to use the most sustainable materials possible, like timber and less concrete. Then they tighten the building's envelope, making it as energy efficient as possible. Part of that process is building much of the home off-site where they can monitor quality control and engineering. Then energy efficient systems and appliances, and finally, solar with battery backup. We're very focused on using materials in the building of our homes that have as low a carbon footprint as possible, and they need to be practical. They need to be accessible, they need to be affordable, they need to be reliable in the supply chain. But Arrow homes aren't cheap. They build large homes. Their latest priced at nearly $5 million. Part of that is the price of land in California, but investors say once scaled, they can make the homes more affordable. We have the ability to go very mass market with this, but. I think this first home is really, a, it's, a, it's an engineering statement. It demonstrates what's possible, and we can deploy that across a much broader set of geographies. Arrow is backed by Innovation Endeavors, Western Technology, and Stanford University DYDX. Total funding so far, $21 million. Arrow has only built a few homes so far, but they say that by the end of this year, they'll be on track to build 36 homes per year, and their facility could handle up to 100. Courtney? That's so interesting, Diana. I mean, it sounds great to buy a carbon negative home if you can really do that, but the price tag seems pretty high, especially given today's housing market. So even if they bring it down a little, is it really that feasible for the mass market? And also, they're making 100, so... Yeah, I mean, look, it's very much a niche market. And when you look at the competition in the space, like Dwell and Clever and some of the other homes, some of those are very pricey as well. And that's what it may cost to get these kind of large scale carbon negative or even carbon neutral homes. But we are seeing more innovation. If that innovation then trickles down to the more affordable housing category, even if it's just the solar or the prefab aspect of it, then, you know, we'll take all we can get, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's really fascinating stuff.